Welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Let's get right into the Bitcoin chart for today, starting on this one day time frame. Because right now, Bitcoin is pumping massively to the upside. And as you can see, we have now almost reached the top of this descending channel. Now, guys, if you have been following my videos recently, you know that I flipped bearish right here at 70K, was bearish on this move all the way to the downside, and then flipped bullish right here at 53,000 US dollars, saying that so long as we hold this descending channel as a level of support, it is completely possible that we go to the top of the range. And funnily enough, everyone was saying, no, we are going lower, we are going lower, we are going to 30K, 40K, whatever. And I just kept repeating it every single day, guys. And now what do we see? We have reached the top of the descending channel. So please, guys, let me know in the comments if you made some money here on this move to the upside. Now, as for the analysis of this descending channel, you need to pay attention to this level of resistance sitting at about 68.3K. But of course, keep in mind that this does trend down over time. So tomorrow, this is going to be at about 68.2K already because it is possible to get a rejection from there. And there are also some other levels of support and resistance that we need to take into consideration here. But before I get to that, I want to show you guys this RSI downtrend on the one day time frame that you know I have been talking about as well since we were trading up here and we got this rejection. We were bearish all the way on this move to the downside. And I was saying what you need to look out for here as some kind of confirmation that we are likely going higher. It is a breakout above this descending line of resistance. And now what do we see here? July 14th aligns exactly with this breakout of the trend line as well. And at that time we were trading at about 58, 59,000 US dollars. So of course we have pumped massively to the upside recently. And hopefully this was profitable for you guys. Now, as for the Fibonacci levels for Bitcoin on this four hour time frame, right here, you can see that we are getting close to this 0.786 level, which is important to pay attention to. It's sitting at exactly 68,000 US dollars. So you need to pay attention to what happens around this price level as well. If we go that high, because again, you can get a rejection from this level. And in that case, so if we start going lower here, you need to pay attention to these two price levels right here from about 65.5K down to about 64.9K because this is the Fibonacci golden pocket that we have now broken above after getting this first rejection here. So now that we have broken above, if we come back down to retest this, and successfully get a bounce out of there, I think that would be very, very bullish for Bitcoin. So those are the Fibonacci levels that I'm paying attention to right now. Now taking a look at the regular support and resistance levels. In yesterday's video, I showed you guys this dotted trend line, but after I saw the price action, I think this trend line right here is actually the valid one. So I'm removing this one from the charts. And what you can see right now is that Bitcoin traded above this level of resistance, which was sitting from 65,000 US dollars all the way up to 66,000 US dollars. Now, the reason I haven't marked it in blue here is because this is not a level of support yet, as far as I am concerned, because ideally what I would like to see is the price come back down and actually bounce out of here, because this would confirm it as a level of support for me personally because I've seen plenty of times where we go above a level of resistance, and then a lot of people will think that it is suddenly a level of support. However, then the price just falls straight down through it. And therefore I do not want to make the assumption that this is a level of support. So for now it is going to be in pink. And what we need to pay attention to as well in terms of a level of resistance is this level from 68.5K all the way up to 70,000 US dollars. However, below this level of resistance, we also have that descending channel on the one day time frame that you need to pay attention to as well in terms of a potential level of resistance. Now, one thing that happened earlier today on the four hour time frame as well is that we broke out of this RSI downtrend on the four hour time frame. Although I do not remember if I mentioned it in my videos or I only mentioned it in the trading signals group. Either way, after we broke out of here, that was at about 64,000 US dollars. And of course, after that, we saw this big, basically straight up only mode 
pump to the upside. So that was a very nice thing to see as well. And hopefully you were able to long that move. So obviously this is looking pretty bullish, but keep in mind that we are very close to being in over bond territory here. And typically when we are in over bond territory, as you saw right here, when I warned about it as well, most of the time you need to see the RSI kind of reset back down to around that 50 level. And potentially we have already started that here where we touched into overbond territory and then are potentially resetting back down to around that 50 level. But I don't really want to make any assumptions about this because it is completely possible that we just keep going up into this overbought zone and then eventually come back down. For now, I would say just pay attention to what is happening in the charts itself and not necessarily on the RSI because the big alpha here that we really made the money from is actually this breakout. And now that it has broken out, we need to look for the next opportunity. So one thing I am paying attention to is this upward sloping line of support because in the case that we see something like this, where we basically start trading sideways or we trade up a little bit, but either way, the point is if we break down below this upward sloping line of support, potentially this could be a bearish signal. So I'm not saying that it needs to send it straight down to 50K or something like that. But I'm just saying on these lower time frames, if you see a break of this line of support, potentially you need to see at least some choppy sideways price action or potentially some more bearish momentum after that. So just keep an eye on this trend line is what I would say for now. But overall, so long as we do not break below the trend line, then obviously the momentum is bullish. Moving on to the Bitcoin liquidation heat maps. And again, look guys, I'm not doing some kind of victory lap here, but when we were at these lows, I was saying, look at all of this liquidity to the upside on the three month time frame, where we have over $6 billion at the time of people that are shorting the Bitcoin price that would lose their money on their trade if the Bitcoin price reaches this 72.3K level. And again, I was getting all kinds of pushback on this. People saying, no, it's Mount Gox. No, it's the German government. No, it's this, it's that. It's not like there's no way we are going to take out all of this liquidity right here. And here we are, guys. Does this not look to you like we are really targeting this 72.3K level? You know, and maybe it won't just shoot up here in a straight line, but at the very least, we have taken out over $3 billion worth of people that were shorting the Bitcoin price that got completely wrecked, that got liquidated on this move to the upside here. So again, these Bitcoin liquidation heat maps can be of huge value in our trading strategy here. Although on this one week time frame, we have taken out a lot of liquidity to the upside and now most of the liquidity is in fact to the downside, sitting at about 62,000 US dollars. And now lastly for the Bitcoin ETF flow tables for today, I'm sorry, but I kind of need to cut it short here, guys, but my throat is really hurting. I've been working on a trading course for you guys that I'm going to launch next week, but I have just been straight recording and talking for three, four days at this point. So my voice is really about to give out. Therefore, I would just say we got a small inflow yesterday. We aren't seeing net outflows and we are not seeing massive inflows. So therefore, there isn't too much to say about this. Now, if you want to stay up to date with the crypto markets, then subscribe to my channel and put notifications on. I'm trying to reach 4,000 subscribers. So if you can help me with that, thank you very much. Besides that, I wanted to mention that next week, I am most likely going to launch a leverage trading course. And no, I will not be charging thousands of dollars for it. In fact, it will be completely free. It will cost you zero dollars to actually get access to it and watch all of the content completely for free. So if you want to get access to that trading course, then make sure to join my Discord community with the first link of the video description so you get notified whenever I actually launch that trading course. Either way, if you do end up joining or not, this has been today's market update. Thank you very much for watching once again, and I will see you tomorrow in the next one.